Let's talk about certifications in cybersecurity. When I was at the beginning stage of my career, I was researching all of these certifications and it just made me want to. So to avoid you doing that, I've made this video that will help you decide which ones you need to be taking and which one's best for your career. To make sure I give you guys the correct results of my research, what I've done is I've compiled evidence from LinkedIn, Indeed and Google Jobs to ensure we have the correct output for what I'm about to tell you. I've taken all the certifications that you've just seen on the previous screen and ranked them in terms of difficulty, their reputation, so is it something that employers highly regard, the demand for them, so are a lot of employers actually asking for these specific certifications, how expensive they are, so in terms of cost, and the time that they actually take to complete. So is that two months or is it something that will take you around eight months? And all of that has been done on a scale and I've ranked them from one to five to see how they score against each other when totaling the final results. There will be 10 certifications altogether and we'll be starting with 10 and we'll go through down to number one to see what's been ranked the best. So go grab a coffee and make sure you're paying attention. Starting us off at number 10, we have GFACT. This certification covers a lot of the foundational cybersecurity concepts and it's mainly aimed at new people coming into cybersecurity. It will cover things like networking and basic security concepts that's good for when you're getting into cybersecurity. But when looking at it from the wide perspective that we are in this video, you also want to consider the GSEC certification, which is almost seen as its older brother, as it's around the same topics and it's slightly more advanced, even though it might cost you the same amount, which is a very high price for GAC certifications, which of course, as a beginner, you probably don't have access to the amount of funds that are needed to sit these certifications. <laughs> but don't worry, let's move on to the ninth position, which is CompTIA A+. If you're not familiar with this certification, it has quite a broad focus on foundational IT skills and it demands quite a bit of time investment if you're new to the field and it's quite reasonably priced compared to other certifications and it's a good basis for those entering the IT field because it caters to such a wide audience of people. So you might be wondering why it's become this position in my ranking and that's probably more down to reputation and difficulty. So even though it does provide a good understanding, it's a bit too basic to start specialising in cybersecurity after it. So if you want something slightly more difficult that has a higher reputation amongst employers, then you'll probably want to start looking at the other certifications. That moves us nicely onto our next one, which is CC by ISC2. Had to make sure I said the correct name there because they've recently rebranded and changed from ISC squared to ISC2. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But aside from that, the Certified in Cybersecurity exam is similar to the a exam. However, it does obviously focus a little bit more on cybersecurity and ISC Squared are known for their rigorous training and their high assessment standards. It's an exam that will set you up nicely to learn the fundamentals, but I'd say its reputation is currently 50-50 as it's provided by a vendor that has the CISP certification, which is obviously considered the gold standard in cybersecurity, but the certification itself will have slightly lower recognition compared to more established certifications like the CompTIA A+, as it's so new. And at the moment, the certification is free, which is probably why it's carrying such a big advantage compared to the others. But maybe once that changes, it will also change its ranking. It'll depend on the cost of the certification, which is yet to come. Up at number 7 in the rankings we have the CompTIA Network Plus certification which is great for its exploration in networking concepts and it's really good at setting you up at a foundational level for networking in cybersecurity. The certification is also reasonably priced and it carries a good reputation in the job market for proving your network skills. However, where this cert probably starts to fall in the rankings is that it's seen as quite foundational and is solely focused on networking. Therefore, this certification alone will not really set you up to go into a purely cybersecurity role. So you would need to consider other certifications as well if you were just planning on getting this one before getting a cybersecurity job. Up next is the SSCP exam by ISC2, who received the same amount of points in my rankings as the next certification that we're going to talk about. But for now, the SSCP is a certification that has great coverage of security domains and is quite moderately priced compared to the others. The vendor themselves offer decent training 
and it's quite often said that it nicely sets you up for wanting to take the CISP exam one day. So in that way it's seen as a good stepping stone to the gold standard cybersecurity certification. However, saying all that, as it does cover a lot of topics that can contribute to its moderately high difficulty, which is also why it has a one year work experience prerequisite, this means that prep time is also quite high, so if you're looking to pass quick, then this is probably not the one. And looking at demand from employers, I saw it asked for a few times, but nothing compared to the ones that we're going to talk about in the higher rankings in the next few minutes. That then nicely takes us on to the TIED certification with SSCP, which is the Cisco CCST exam. Now this exam is relatively new compared to the others, and it's something you have to sit within 50 minutes, and you also do not need to renew this certification. Like I said, it's relatively new, and it's a good stepping stone for further certifications with Cisco. However, the specific demand within the job market isn't there yet for it to be pushed any higher in my rankings, and like I said, it tied with the SSCP, so depending on where your future career goals lie, you will be able to decide between these depending on which ones you want to go for after it. Then we have another newcomer in the game, which is the Google Cybersecurity Certification. Obviously, I don't need to say too much about Google and their reputation, but since this course has launched, it's gained numerous amounts of good reviews and it's really good for its introduction into cybersecurity and the foundational concepts it covers. With this cert, however, it is a little tricky because for an introduction into cyber, I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10, but to actually get a job with it on its own, it would be quite tricky. The demand is not there from employers, however, it is also worth noting that it does nicely set you up for the Security Plus exam, and it also lets you sit it at a discounted price. So because of that, it has achieved quite a high ranking, and I believe it's really good for getting into cybersecurity. That then nicely moves us into the top three, and in the third position, we have GSEC. Now, SANS GSEC has an extensive coverage of security domains, and the exam carries a high reputation for beginners in the cyberspace. Their certs are known to be very challenging, and so by earning one of these, you're definitely proving that you have the right skills. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I see it as the older brother of the GFACT certification, that if your employer is paying for one of these, then I would highly recommend doing the GSEC rather than the GFACT. However, it's worth noting that if this was something that your employer was paying for, then this certification definitely earns the top spot. But of course, I didn't want to assume that, and as beginners, you probably can't afford this certification out of your own pocket, so it then lowers itself in the rankings, just for beginners in that scenario. Then at position number two, which may cause quite a debate, but I'm all here for it, we have the Cisco CCNA exam, and that's basically seen as the Network Plus certification, but slightly more advanced. That, along with Cisco certifications carrying substantial weight in the networking world, also boosts its credibility and desirability. Even though it's not vendor neutral like some of the others, it is definitely a certification that carries a high reputation with the job market so you could definitely get hired for maybe even a security role if you just have the CCNA certification just because of its reputation over the years. And also an added benefit is that it's cheaper than the Network Plus certification by CompTIA. That then leaves us with the first position, which if you haven't already guessed, is the CompTIA Security Plus certification. This cert ranks first due to it being a really good exam to introduce you to cybersecurity concepts and it also is the most requested certification amongst employers. It also allows you to gain fundamental cybersecurity knowledge without an extensive time commitment. So depending on where your knowledge is at, you could easily pass the exam within weeks and then start applying for cybersecurity jobs. It was a very close call with the top five certifications within this ranking. However, obviously the factors of your circumstances do change which certification you could go for. Some of you may have covered the foundation in, let's say, a degree, so you can go straight for the Security Plus. However, some of you may not have those foundations, so you need to do something like the CC by IC squared first or the A plus first. So a lot of that depends on where you're at to determine which certification you could go for. But this video was just a general idea in terms of demand, difficulty, time and cost and reputation of these certs, which one lines up to be the best. If today's video has been useful for you, please do leave a like down below, it massively helps the channel out. And do check out my description for a link to my new Get Started in Cybersecurity guide. It contains everything you need to know for getting into cybersecurity. It's something I wish I had when joining. 
From career paths to explore in cyber, to interview techniques, the certification roadmap and tools for upskilling, it's got it all and it's perfect for anybody that's considering a career in cybersecurity.